Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rezero and in this video I am going to give you a quick overview of the Lava Fabricator machine from the Mine Factory Reloaded mod. Now I've got one of these machines in my inventory here and let's have a look at the recipe. Now first of all you will need some plastic sheets at the top here. These are of course made from raw plastic which can be obtained from smelting rubber bars or any sort of uh, rubber from uh, other mods. So when we go back we'll see that we also need some obsidian on the left and right side of the recipe, a blaze rod in the middle, then some magma cream and of course a factory machine block which is constructed using plastic sheets and some stone. Now do keep in mind that you need this factory machine block for every fa uh, my factory reloaded machine so you might want to consider making quite a lot of them. Now I've got two little setups here. On the right here we have a uh, setup using a combustion engine and uh, the thing I want to demonstrate here is actually first of all um, well let's uh, start this thing up first so I have one bucket of lava in this um, in this portable tank here and when we insert it into the combustion engine of course it will start working and generating Minecraft tools and this is then inserted into the redstone energy cell which transfers it to the lava fabricator. Now the thing I want to demonstrate here as I was saying is first of all that the lava fabricator will insert lava directly into adjacent pipes. Now here I have some liquid ducts and as you can see it's inserting them in there without me having to supply a redstone signal like I did here for it to extract the liquid from an inventory. So it also has an internal buffer where it can store the liquid, well the lava. Um, but yeah, so in this case usually you will have some pipes connected to it so it won't usually be using that internal buffer. Alright, so uh, one more reason I have this setup here is uh, essentially the lava fabricator requires 20,000 Minecraft jewels, I believe it is, to, um, to create a single bucket of lava. Now on the other side you have the, uh, the combustion engine and this will actually generate 20,000 Minecraft jewels um, from a single bucket. So this system, given that it uh, keeps uh, being supplied with water, will run forever. That's basically the point. Now do keep in mind that uh, most other lava, uh, well, energy uh, generators that use lava will have a, a worse conversion rate. So it's, uh, especially the, uh, the industrial craft EU generators uh, will lose a lot of uh, efficiency in the system. Also the magmatic engine for example from thermal expansion only generates 17,000 uh, Minecraft joules from a single bucket so you will also be losing uh, energy there. But yeah, so as long as you don't extract any energy from the system this should run forever. Now over here we have a uh, Traincraft iron tank and I've got some, uh, some lava fabricators uh, all around the whole thing and I'm going to place down redstone energy cells to power these. Alright, now the thing you'll notice is that the iron tank is already filling up with lava, so I've already got five buckets in there. And uh, the thing I'm, I want to show you here is basically um, when we go back over here I uh, explained to you that the lava fabricator is able to insert liquids directly into the liquid duct or of course any other type of pipe such as Billcroft liquid pipes and uh, this is also a property of most mine factory loaded machines uh, the ability to insert into adjacent piping but this basically shows you that it is also able to insert uh, the lava into an adjacent liquid inventory so in this case the iron tank so yeah, that's basically it for uh, the Lava Fabricator. So, uh, the, well, there's not much more to tell about this block. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here and I will see you in the next video. And also please rate and subscribe if you enjoyed it, of course.